iOS 10.2 Beta 1 brings some significant new changes to iOS 10, headlined by over 70 new Unicode 9 emoji characters. Let's check it out right now. Improved animations. I found UI animations to be a little odd acting on my iPhone 7 Plus prior to iOS 10.2 Beta 1. The update seems to have ironed out many of the peculiarities with the UI animations on my iPhone 7 Plus, although it's still not 100% perfect. Unicode 9 Emoji Characters. iOS 10.2 Beta 1 features over 70, yes, over 70 new emoji characters along with updated revisions to already existing characters. There's a new clown emoji, which is a little creepy, and there's also a new drooling emoji. There's bacon, there's always room for bacon, right? And there's even a person taking a selfie. How's that for variety? New Wallpaper. The promo images for the iPhone 7 are now available as wallpaper in iOS 10.2 Beta 1. You'll find three new wallpapers to be exact, which are based off the original iMac candy shell colors. New Videos Widget A new Videos app widget is now available in Notification Center. The widget works similarly to the way the Music app widget works in iOS 10, allowing you to quickly resume content. Transparency differences in 3D touch quick action menus. Now this is obviously very, very subtle, but there are some minor differences in transparency that can be noticed when executing a 3D touch gesture on one of your home screen app icons. Hiding contact photos and messages app conversations on the iPhone 7 Plus. So previously, if you went into the settings app and went to the messages section and disabled the show contact photos there, you would still find contact photos at the top of messages app conversation threads. Well, now in iOS 10.2 beta one, that's been hidden as well. Notification Center remembers your last location. With iOS 10.2 beta one installed, the Notification Center will now remember the last place where you left off. That means you can get directly to your widgets when invoking Notification Center if that's where you were last. New celebration full screen effect in messages. A new full screen effect is found in the Messages app on iOS 10.2 Beta 1. The effect, which is similar to the fireworks full screen effect, comes complete with taptic feedback on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. New Home Button Accessibility Setting A new press and hold to speak section in the Home Button Accessibility Settings allows you to manage Siri and voice control response when pressing and holding the home button. It is here where you can completely disable the press and hold home button response. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that eventually users would be able to retain Siri hands-free control while being able to disable the home button press. But as of now, turning the setting off will disable Siri altogether. Speaking of Siri, there is a new Siri splash screen. You'll notice this brand new Siri welcome slash splash screen when enabling Siri from a disabled state. Sorting music. You could always sort music via the music app's preference panel in the settings app, but now you can sort while in the music app itself. Another welcome new addition is the ability to sort playlists by type, title, or recently added. Music star ratings. You can now enable star ratings for the music app in iOS 10.2 Beta 1. Simply head over to the music app preferences in the settings app and enable the star rating switch. From there, just 3D touch on a track that's added to your library and you will see a new Rate Song button at the bottom of the list. Preserve Camera Settings iOS 10.2 Beta 1 adds a new Preserve Settings panel in the Camera App Preferences. This will allow you to preserve the last used camera mode, photo filter, or live photo setting in the Stock Camera App. And finally, one of my favorite fixes found in iOS 10 Beta 2 Quick reply text is saved when opening the full messages app while you're typing a response. So in previous versions of iOS 10, if you open the messages app while in the midst of replying using the quick reply interface, all of the text that you type would be lost. But in iOS 10.2 beta one, that text is carried over to the full messages app, which is such a nice thing to have. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at some of the new features in iOS 10.2 beta one. Which one is your favorite? Have you found any additional features? If you appreciate these videos please like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section this is Jeff with 9to5Mac